We have a chicken soup sword. <laughs> hey guys and gals, I'm Pal. And I'm Nova. And welcome back to Pal's Play Wind Waker. Last time, we did a trading quest, Nova got frustrated, and off screen, I got infinite rupees, but we'll talk about that later. Hold B to build up power, then release it. Come at me now, do it. So, we're learning a new technique, because we have all of these knights crests. Oh, that... Uh, oops, sorry. Sorry. You said press and hold B. Oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, Did we actually hit him? Yeah, we hit him. We chopped his legs off. You learned the hurricane spin. Hold B to build up your power, then release it to perform a whirling attack with your blade. Remember, it consumes magic power. <laughs> Amazing, look, you did it. You have mastered the hurricane spin. At last, you have made our long life, long time dream come true. Oh, the joyful tears, they won't stop. I thought my tears had dried up long ago. <laughs> there is nothing left for me to teach you. I am certain now that you will save your sister Ariel and bring her home to Alcide. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him glaring. Sheesh. Bye. Dun, 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 dun. Now, interesting thing about the hurricane spin, and interesting thing about something we encountered like last episode, I think. No, it was it was a couple episodes ago. I just recently edited it. The one where we were all at the uh, the Ice Ring Isle, and we fought the Dark Nut, and he did a spin attack. I actually found out why that is. Uh. Dark Nuts, when you charge up a spin tack, will imitate this by doing one of their own. And if you have the hurricane spin, they will imitate the hurricane spin. I never knew that. Uh, and so, if you have a group of Dark Nuts together, you can- <laughs> that was funny. You can uh, actually have them kill each other by doing that. Wasn't that episode the first time we'd ever seen that happen? Yeah, it was literally the first time, so we'd never used that attack near them. Now, as for what I'm doing now, there, on this gray patch, if we take the pig, once we have the power bracelet, okay, once we have the power bracelet, we can pick up this pig. Now, if we talk to the locals, we'll find out that the pig's name is indeed Link. They named him after you. Uh, but if we go down here and throw some bait on this gray patch, we should be getting a piece of heart, but it's not really working. Here, oh, wait, why not? Yeah, let me do that. Right there. There you go. Smooth. Whoa! Oh my goodness! Hey, bud! Are you sure it's here? That's what the book said. There's no other gray patch? Oh, right there. Nova. What? Oh, there is one down there. Wait! Look who it is! Yeah, I know. It's Gregory. Gregory and, Sil and Sylvia Adrian and Adrian Beef. Beef. Okay, okay, buddy. Get down there. Right there. Hey! <gasps> They're in the overworld! They are! We can take them places! We can! Oh, snap! Wait, what if they disappear and we get the heart piece? Oh, uh, they won't. It's, it's not a map transition. I wonder, in theory, we could actually push this into the water. Can we take them on the boat? No, 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 no! Don't push... Go don't, around him! Go around him! Don't push it in! Where'd it go? Okay, it's still there. <laughs> oh was, my word! I was worried there. Okay, let's get our let's get our piece of heart. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna have to ditch some of these these uh, morths. Uh, so we're just down to the original crew, or are we gonna take one more? Uh, the original crew. We just need the three. Is this three? Yep. Okay, let's go. Okay, we'll take four. That's fine. One's still following us. The fourth one needs a name. Um. Brock. I like that. Brock. Okay. We have Brock, and oh no! We can't warp now. Oh. Should we make the sacrifice, Nova? Yeah, let's see how far we can get. Uh, can I get in the <coughs> boat without losing them? You have to make the jump perfect. Okay. Oh man, that's the. Oh man. The pressure. I think that's good. Yes. Yes! Alright! Okay, okay. We're gonna take them across the Great Sea. <laughs> we are. 
Okay, I don't care if this triples the length of recording episodes. We're doing this. But the problem is that we can't we can't uh, warp anymore. So can we go indoors at Windfall Island? No, we can never go indoors again. <laughs> what? Wait, stop the boat! Stop the boat! They might despawn this way. I'm actually pretty sure they will. Will they follow? There they are. No, wait. Are they gone? I think I see them. Oh wait, no, I see them. I see them. See them? Yeah. Now, are they chasing us, though? Did they hit a barrier? No, they're they're still coming. Come on, bud. Come no, on. I think they hit a barrier. They won't go any further than that. Um. No, it just their physics is r are really slow. That is very strange. Should we still try? So wait, stop, stop, stop. No, they aren't going to come. They just want to float around. I mean, they'll sorcery. be slow. They may catch up like in years. Should we try? I mean, we won't keep stopping for them, but we'll just go and... I vote we try and see if they come back... Like at next some, episode? ...at some point while we're on Windfall. Okay. I, I, am, I have a good mind that they will despawn. Here, see, let's watch them. They're probably going to despawn. Well, they will fade into the distance. So They're we'll be definitely able to tell. going to despawn. You want to just take the hit and warp? No, let's try this. Okay. And here we are. Uh, we did not warp from outset to windfall in the hopes that Gregory, Adrian Bo Beef, Sylvia, and Brock will eventually be reunited with our bodies. Maybe. Hopefully. Uh, that but would in the be meantime. Cool. What? That would be cool. But in the meantime, we're going to be doing this side quest. All these little mountings everywhere in the island have they a purpose. Pedestals. pedestals have a purpose. If we buy stuff here, then we can set those set them in that area and then get a heart piece from it. So we're going to be doing that. Wait, look take a second, look down at the rugs in front of his shop. They seem to have characters on them. They do. They probably say like shop or something. Okay, let's talk to him and see what the pr these prices are. Yes, yes, yes. It is another fine day, is it not? Days like this are best spent shopping. Use the thing. Um. What? Oh, oh we, can we can't continue unless we're in the other thing. So these cost a lot of money, actually. Yeah. And you might be wondering how I got so much money off screen. It was actually very easy. Uh, in Outset Island, there is this one ledge behind the, the headstone um, near the top of the island. Now, if you fall back down there, you can use the Digu Leaf to get over. Then there is a pot, which contains like five rupees. But if you use the Tingle Bomb right next to it, there will be a pot that contains an orange rupee. Now, this pot is actually pretty special, because once you break it and collect the rupee, you can actually change the night into day, and vice versa, and the pot will respawn. You don't have to use the Tingle Bomb anymore. So you can just bomb it, get the rupee, change it into night, get another rupee, change it to day, get another one. So it's the easiest way to make money uh, for... GameCube version players. This was removed in the HD version. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and get the town flower. I think we'll get we'll get a lot of these first, and then go around and place these. I would kind of like to decorate the island, uh, and that would be fun. Now we're not. I'm not going to be showing all of this. Certainly not. Can I have more than three? Okay, that's done. I'm not going to be showing all of this. Uh, we will be speeding it up because that it would be insane if we did it any other way. And we can only carry three flowers at once. Okay, let the montaging begin! So, while Nova and I were doing this side quest, she had looked up the different flags just to determine the prices to easily reference. Also, there's the ghost ship. And when she did that, we discovered that we were missing some... some items. So we're going to be getting some of the flags and pen pendants? Decorations that pendants. we missed. So if we go to the great, go to great Fish Isle and give this man a fountain, what is it? Fountain goddess statue? Fountain idol. Fountain goddess idol. Uh, then he will give us in return a Whoa. Whoa, that, that was kind of cool. A skull tower idol. Now Zelda fans will recognize that as one of the bubbles from Ocarina of Time. Thank you, Nova, for pointing that out to me earlier. Okay, so we can get this for return. 
And we'll have to pay 60 rupees. Now, when we decorate the town with awesome. these new items, I think this should go in the rich man's house, since he, <laughs> likes, <laughs> since he likes skull necklaces so much. I actually... Okay, I like that. <laughs> you kind of took me off guard, though. All right, now, in Mother and Child Isles, once again, you better appreciate the efforts we're going to. We can because trade this is taking a very long time. Yeah, we can trade in the Sickle Moon. Why, that's a Sickle Moon flag, right? It's the thing I traded for you with you. And we'll get the big cat. Actually, that's kind of an attractive flag, other than it's, the pitchfork. It's really pretty. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the trident, because it looks really cartoonish, but most agreeable than my fee will be a ton of money. An arm and a leg. <laughs> pretty much. Okay, that's awesome. Now, we have something else to trade for trade with him, but we actually have to make a trip back to the thing to get it. So, beer back. Alright, take this flower. Huh? Well, that's a flower. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Would you be interested in this very childish looking pinwheel? <coughs> yeah! Most agreeable. Then my fee will be 55 rupees. <laughs> That's my pinwheel noise. Sweet. I was actually li really looking forward to the pinwheel because I'm gonna put it in the in the little kids area. By the way, we're recording this before we actually <laughs> finished the side quest because it's imperative that I get my pinwheel, yo. Modern art. It's. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> I like that. I like it a lot. Hilarious. And now, for the last two statues. Dun, dun, dun. We have spent 2,500 rupees this episode. And it's all... Wait, 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 wait. Oh, it spins, okay. No, I was making sure it was, it was facing the right way. There it is. We're done! We've gotten the last two. Okay. Oh, uh, take a look at those real quick. If you look at these tiki... If you look at these tiki statues, they will not move. Oh, wait, they will. What? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, this one. This one, this one, when we look at it, it doesn't move. It moves. We tricked ourselves. <laughs> we tricked ourselves. There's there's a segment. In fact, you know what? I'm, if I have it, if Nova had her headset on, I will show it. Uh, but <laughs> we were we were convinced that those things only move when we our backs are turned, and what was really happening is we were just timing it really well accidentally. Okay, <laughs> now, because we've do done all this, if we talk to Samothy... Or Abraham. It's actually Lincoln. just Sam. No, it's Samothy. If we talk to Samothy, wow! Windfall just seems to be filled with joy lately, don't you think? Say, you haven't been cooperating with volunteers, have you? You know what I'm talking about. Decorating the town? Oh, really? You have? Wow, it never fails to amaze me how kind and thoughtful folks can be. I know. I'll return your kindness with, with some of my own. This is the piece of heart that is worth the most money in the game, if you have <laughs> any decorating sense at all, because, I mean, you could just spend 10 rupees. 2,500 rupees is quite a bit. Yeah, I'd l I hope you'll continue to help the Joyous Volunteer Association with its work, Little Joy Jr. We got the thing! Also, look at the shop! It's gigantic. It's gorgeous! I've never had and, it this big. hey, it did go all the way to the end of that wall like you predicted. Yeah! It looks great. I've never done this. I've literally never done this before. Ever. In Me my either. life. And I've spent more time playing this game. Because this, none of this is required to get a piece of heart. None of it. You can just get the first the first little plant and then go from there. But no. Awesome. Okay. 
that is actually going to be it for this episode. This video was the last in the recording batch before I contracted tonsillitis, and just to get the recording times and episode lengths back on track, I'm going to end this episode early. So, thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like, and if you didn't, then drop a comment telling me how I could make the next episode so that you would like it. We release new episodes of Wind Waker Tuesdays and Fridays with the schedule change, and I'll see you guys next time for another Pal Plays, or sorry, Pal's Play, Wind Waker, where we will be back in action. See ya!